Now we're going to do bend over rows. Bend over rows is a variation of your back muscle. So this exercise is very, very unique because it gets every single muscle back there. I mean, it takes a lot of load on your lower back, your middle back, and your upper back as well. So make sure you do this exercise correctly. The one common mistake I see when guys do this exercise is, first of all, lifting too much weight. And when that happens, when they pick the weight up, they're rounding their back, shoulders protruding forward, spine flexing backwards. So what this is going to do is actually you're going to deload your back and put your back in a weak position. And when that happens, you put a lot of stress in your lower back and your middle back. This will, over time, you can actually put yourself at risk of injury. You know, when you pick up the weight and I see guys going this way and swinging their body and jerking their body up and down, as you can see, I'm not isolating the muscle at all. You know, these guys, when they do this movement, they actually put more stress in their lower back and more stress in their shoulders, their body going up and down. They actually get tired before their muscle gets tired. And the one thing you always want to think about is your muscles have to get fatigued first before you get fatigued. If you're out of breath and your muscle is not feeling anything, that means, you know, you're basically doing cardio instead of building muscle. Most guys do this exercise incorrectly also by bouncing the weight on their chest and rocking their body up and down and going too fast without even connecting to the muscle. So the way to do this exercise is make sure you grip shoulder width, make sure you grab the weight, do not lift too much weight because you want to be able to use the correct form and the correct tempo. Keep your hips back, hinge your knees slightly and make sure when you're pulling up you want to pull back, squeeze and pause at the top and come down really slow without letting your hand, arms hang all the way down. When you pick up the weight, the proper form here, make sure your hands placement is slightly outside your shoulder width and hinge around your hips and bend your knees slightly. You wanna pull your elbows back, squeeze at the top, come down really slow, maintain your spine angle, flatten your hips, squeeze at the top and come down really slow, controlling the low with your back muscle. Squeeze at the top and coming down really slow and drive the weight back always with your back and not with your arms. Flatten the back, keep the chin looking forward. Squeeze at the top and coming down really slow right about there. Controlling the speed, tempo and visualize your mind and body connection and make sure you're connecting to the back muscle because you can't see your back right there. A variation of these bend over rows is going from a neutral grip to a reverse grip. This reverse grip is going to basically work a little bit more areas in your lower back and your upper back and also your middle back as well. So make sure you keep this in mind, control the tempo, keep your spine angle, do not jerk your body up and down and think about the sliding door movement back there to be able to squeeze your back more and get that full contraction that you need. And this is how you do a bend over row.